Good morning, everybody. You're probably still in bed. You'll catch this later. But this is Carla Marie with your daily momspiration for the next, well, for 18 days. I promised that I would come and share a momspiration for you each day. And today we are talking about momspiration number five. And momspiration number five is let them see you learn. You know, I, I'll be honest with you, it's, I remember being in school and I remember, I don't think I ever actually had this mindset that learning stopped when I graduated from high school. Um, but I remember hearing, you know, murmurings and complainings of, you know, around my senior year that oh, I don't ever want to read again. I don't ever want to learn again. I don't ever want to do any of this stuff again. And, you know, as you get older, you realize learning doesn't stop. And we could have kids now that are thinking the same thing. And so when we learn in front of them, we show them what we're learning. We, we're growing. We're um, gaining new skills, perfecting old skills, dusting off old skills and things of that nature. They begin to see, hmm, learning doesn't just stop with traditional school it doesn't stop with a textbook at you know uh 12th grade or whatever the case is or even after college learning is a life long journey and i'm sure any parent it would be your desire that your children become lifelong learners right we all want our kids to grow and to mature and to continually add to their skill set and to their you know um build up their talents and their skills and all of that kind of thing. And so it's important that they see us learn. And I really like this quote that I have in this particular chapter. And it's an unknown author to this quote. But it says, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. We've been talking about dreaming. We've been talking about goals. We've been talking about living our purpose in front of our children to inspire them to do that themselves. And a part of that is learning. When we stop learning, we stop growing. We stop advancing in life. And so as moms, they're looking at us as their example. And it's so important to learn new things and to um, gain new skills toward the things that we want to do. So I ask you that question this morning. What are you learning right now? What is it that you are learning? What kind of information are you pursuing to be better, to do better at what it is that you want to ultimately do? Um, you know, over the last several years, I have learned so much. <laughs> you know, um, I've learned so, so much about writing and editing and marketing and entrepreneurial passion and um, just design and business and i i can't tell you how much i've learned you know i have even learned through helping my children through um discovering their own passions and interests and i know things from watching and helping them go to the next level and build skills in certain areas that i would have never learned had they not had that skill so it's kind of reciprocal you learn from your kids all the time. You know, I would have never learned anything about aviation had my son not been passionate about it. My daughter's into fashion design. I love to look cute, but I don't know much about fashion design in the industry, but I've learned oodles and oodles of information to help her pursue her passion and her dream. And likewise with all of my other children. Um, my oldest daughter was an author before I was. I was a writer for a very long time, but I had never been an author under my own name. And so it was very interesting to be able to um, help her through that. And I learned through helping her. And here I am, you know, uh, about to publish my seventh book. And the things that I have learned, my children have been there the entire time watching that happen. And so that has been a really exciting journey. Um, what have I learned through that? I was already a writer, but I learned how to be a better writer. I learned how to um, to hone my skills and perfect 
my skills and to find my specific writing voice and things of that nature. And it's helped them to do the same thing in the things that they pursue. I also learned graphic arts, believe it or not. Never thought that that was a skill that I would learn. But starting off as an author, I could not, I, I wasn't in the position to pay someone else to design my books for me. And so I said, you know what? I need to figure out how to do this myself. And now I love it. I don't think I would ever have someone else design my book covers because I love it so much. And it's such an enjoyable process for me. And um, my kids have seen that. They've seen me, you know, flop. They've seen me, you know, make mistakes in my learning. They've seen me, um, you know, stretch myself to learn something new that was outside of my natural giftings and talents. <clears throat> I do have a natural creativity, creative edge, but that was never something that I had pursued before. So they've seen me do that in a lot of different areas. And one of the things that I've learned this year, and some of you may be connected to me on social media in other ways, um, is gardening. I have never in the history of living been able to keep a plan alive. And this year, you know, we moved into our new house last year. This year I was determined to learn how to garden, mainly flowers, because I just love flowers. Flowers make me happy. And so I learned how to keep flowers alive. <laughs> I learned how to, um, how to garden and how to test soil and how to, um, test the moisture levels in, in my plants and what plants need what kind of lighting and what kind of food and what kind of environment to thrive and what kind of plants don't go well with other plants. There's so much that I have learned and I brought my kids along with me on that journey. And so in the words of my daughter, my 14 year old daughter, one day we were in the garden and um, in, in the front dealing with the flowers and we were doing all this stuff, testing soil and making sure that, you know, um, the acidity, the acidity of the soil was proper for this particular plant. And she turned to me and she said, mom, we know things. And I said, you know what? We do know things. You got it, girl. We know things. And that's because we have sought out new knowledge to learn new things and do things that we've always wanted to do. Always wanted to garden, was always afraid that it would be an expensive disaster for me. Um, and so, but what changed that, what changed it was research. What changed it was learning, was finding people that knew what they were doing and glean from them. It, asking a lot of questions. They went with me to the, you know, to the flower, um, to the store, to the, uh, gardening store. And they heard me asking questions and trying to figure out, you know, what was best and what kind of soil to use and what kind of, um, fertilizers are to use and all of that kind of stuff. They saw me learning. They saw the process of learning. And it's so important that our kids find that, um, you know, in their environment, that they see adults learning, that we don't just get comfortable and sit with the same set of skills and the same level of skills for the rest of our adult life. That's not what God wants and our children need to see something different. So whatever it is, you know, I went from f flower gardening to growing my own food and that was a learning process in it of itself, which is completely different than growing flowers. Um, other than soil, <laughs> the, the fertilizer you use, the care you use, how you do it is completely different. And so that was a whole new learning experience that we were able to do together and it was fun and it was enjoyable, but they saw me learning and they learned at the same time with me. Um, and they got to see that learning doesn't stop when you are done with traditional school. Learning continues all throughout life. And so what are you learning? What is new in your life or what do you need to learn to go to the next level to exercise your skills, gifts, talents, to walk out the purpose that God put on the inside of you? What do you need to learn? And how can you bring your children along on that ride? How can they watch and observe and see that growth and that learning happen so that they can have a natural curiosity and drive and desire to get more information for themselves for the areas that they're passionate about? So 
That is my inspiration number five this morning. Let them see you learn. You will inspire your kids to learn more and to grow further in their own purpose as you learn and grow in yours. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.